Hey guys, it's been a long time. I know in my last stream I said that I'd pretty much run the course of everything I planned to do and the arc was done. And that's true. I don't plan to stream regularly. It's really boring and uh, I don't know how the fuck these people do it. I don't know how they just sit day in, day out desperately hoping that one of their fans will donate enough money so that they can pay their bills or or eat. Uh, it's just, it, I don't know how the fuck people live like that. Um, but I, I wanted to make this video to show just how delusional Cog is. Because Cog lives under this delusion that everybody is getting everything from Ralph. Well, uh, I'd like to break some serious news to him. Um, Ralph got everything from Plate Gang. You know, that group that he claims he doesn't associate with. Well, he still associates with some plates. And that's where he got all that information from. In fact, this information has been compiled over like a three-week period. And it's been slowly leaked out to different people. All with the plan to hope that Cog would spurg out. And it's just hilarious how much he's just lost his shit in the past few days. But I don't think you guys have realized just how hilarious it is because cog makes this excuse that she is not married that her husband and her are broken up and that they aren't together so he's really the guy cooking the cooking the husband and, and he's cooking chetnik but what would you guys say if i told you that cog just like everything else he does in life is completely full of shit now one of the members of plate gang is whitey bulger he does a lot of prank calls, and he went ahead and, through the coordinative efforts of Plate, we were able to track down Drama Queen and find out exactly who she is, where she lives, and what she's up to. And it turns out that she has a lot of debt, uh, that a poor man in Tennessee is harassed almost weekly because of the fact that she doesn't pay her bills, and... She's also been lying. She never left her husband. They still live together. And they're still living together as of today. So here's a small clip in which Whitey contacts Melissa, a.k.a. Drama Queen, and pretends to be one of the directors for the show Cheaters, which is now apparently a website, which is a funny story. But she is so stupid, she believes this story. And admits the knowing cog, admits that she's drama queen, and even better, admits that she cheats on her husband and that she doesn't want him to know. So here you guys go. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Whitey, for recording this. Oh, okay. Uh, hi. This is, um, well, <laughs> like I said, I'm with the show Cheaters, and I heard that you possibly go by the name Drama Queen on YouTube. Is that correct? Uh, I'd rather not say. Well, I think we have it down that uh, this is to be true. I heard you have been getting uh, into some heat here on the internet. I'm just looking at my paper here. Like I said, we're with the show Cheaters, so we uh, do pay. Uh, if you guys are interested, we would like to set you guys up to, um, you know, be on the show, uh, kind of discuss this. We think that we have good evidence that we caught you cheating on your current husband. You are currently married, correct? Uh, yes, but I don't want him to know that. Well, we can set it up in a way that <laughs> okay, he won't retard. Know. Oh, yeah, he'll know it if I go on to a show. Well, no, well, it's not as popular as it once <laughs> was. It's not on broadcast TV anymore. We are, we are online. <laughs> We have our own website. Is he going to be there? Is he going to be there? Well, it could it could be potentially. The money that we offer may make up for that, though. Uh, he might not mind when he sees the paycheck. Uh, that seems to be the case with a lot of the clients we normally have on the show. Now in the show we had earlier when it was broadcast and syndicated on TV. Well, I'm do, still do, you know a, do you know a Cognificent Thought? A gentleman that goes by the name Cognificent Thought? Yeah. Maybe. Um, well, I'm just wondering because we're trying to set the show up and we would like to contact him as well. 
Do you have any? Um, oh, I, I like don't want to come to the show. I what don't want to come to the show. I don't want to come to the show. Uh, you don't really have to come to the show. Um, what it is is we're going to run the show as is with the information that we have. But we're calling you to get more content for the show, and in turn, we'll pay. So regardless, we are going to cover this topic. But I'm only calling you to see if that you would be interested in helping the show. And in turn for doing that, we will pay you. So at least uh, when this does break, that you get some kind of monetary compensation for it? No, I was, I'm not interested. Now, why is that? Um because I do not want my, all my, I don't want things told about me. Well, the I don't only... care how much money, I don't care how much money you pay. So I don't know if you guys heard that little stammer at the end, but that's something that people do when they lie and they can't think on their feet. See, the truth of the matter is, is that she is still married and they are still living together as of this day. He has no idea that she was ever involved with Cog or with Chatnik or that she met Chatnik. This poor man has no idea. I feel bad for him because he kind of looks like Ethan Ralph. It's kind of like they're long lost cuck twins separated at birth, only brought together by the bond of being cucked by their own wives. Now I know what Cog's going to do. He's going to go, hey, well, this is all just hearsay and... I mean, I just talked to the girl for three weeks. This, I got played. I got played, like he's always gonna do, and he's gonna he's gonna insist that there's no proof that she still lives with her husband. Well, I want to go ahead and direct you to the call that happened about an hour before this call that you just heard, when her husband was still home. No, Huggins. no. sorry, Huggins. My bad. No. No, Do you know a Melissa you Huggins? Because she's currently cheating on her husband with multiple men online. I'm with the show Cheaters. Do you remember what? the show Cheaters? You fuck off. I swear to God, I'm with the show Cheaters. It's an online show now. No, you didn't mishear that. That was her husband yelling, hey, fuck off. You know why? Because they still live together. They're still married. She never broke up with him. That's not her ex. They're still together. She was lying the entire time to everybody. And these cucks fell for it because they're gullible losers who e-date. The worst of all is Cog. Because ever since this broke, he has lost his fucking mind. He has gone out of his way to cope and cope and cope. And why wouldn't he? He's surrounded by people that will constantly enable him, just like his mods, and then he will take what they say to him, and he will just repeat it over and over and over and over and over again, like a mantra. Now, I'm sure you heard him the other day just consistently say, I got played, I got played, I got played. Well, he kept saying that because right before he streamed, for about 40 or so minutes, he sat in his Discord crying in VC, Begging people for help, crying to half. Oh, hell my cook! Oh my god, I'm not losing my mind. And and it was just hilarious. And I got some some good clips from that. And and you can hear where Cog got all of his arguments from yesterday. Dude, nigga, you got played. Played, yeah, exactly. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. More enabling. More delusions. Mhm. Mm yeah. You got played, nigga. Yeah. You got played. Like I said the other day on the show, before I hurt his delicate, fragile little E-feelings and got him so mad that he had to ban me from the server, he'd already banned me from the server with some other bullshit excuse about me posting porn in his server, which I never did, by the way. He's just delusional. And the thing I said to him was, Cog, you claim that you're a rational adult. You claim that you're not a loser and all this shit. Why are you e-dating in your 30s, bro? Like, you're in your 30s, and you're talking to some woman for three weeks. You fly to America, and before that, you tell her you want to provide for her kids and have a life with her. After three weeks. You're not even man enough to put your seed in another woman and have your own child. You want to cuck and take care of someone else's child. 
at that point, I, I think you're just as bad as Monday and Matt, which is ironic considering how much shit you talked about Monday and Matt. You're also a cuck, which is ironic considering how much shit you talked about Zeph. It's it's really funny how you wound up becoming the butt of a joke that you continually use for relevance. And just like I said, I know that you're going to claim that you never admitted you got cucked, but here's a clip of you admitting it. I got cucked because she's a cheating hoe that I can't control that. Well, of course you can't control her cog. It's the internet. You have no say over what she does with her life or her body because you're just some fucking dork on the internet who thought that she was in love with you. That's why you got so mad when I asked you that the other day. You actually caught feelings for this chick. And you're mad about it. And that's why you've been raging on Twitter all day. And it's why you've been raging on Twitter all day yesterday and the day before that too. It's why you sat there on the plane, furrowed brow, sitting in coach, asking for an apple juice because you can't afford a bottle of wine. And you're just like, <sighs> just wait till I get home. I'm going to show them all. And all you did was make an ass of yourself. Good job. And I'm sure you can say, oh, 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 just, oh, everybody just wants me to, wants me to tweet at them. No, they, they want you to stop embarrassing yourself, which is what your own fans did the other day, as they begged you for a good 25 plus minutes to just please stop, because you were imploding, and you're so delusional, you think you're normal. It's hilarious.